Hello guys! How you guys doing today? Yes guys, I'm really very well aware that you should likely go with higher end car that you can go with. So in this case today, it would be a 980 Ti. Yes, 980 Ti. I don't know about 980. 980 Ti. Okay, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's powerful. And yes, I have a 1080p monitor, but I'm gonna get into that in a minute. So yes, I, I'm, I'm very well aware of that, you know? And another thing is I know, I noticed I couldn't really do SLI with the 970 uh, it's because with Grand Theft Auto and me streaming, I like to stream. You want to get a little bit more serious into streaming on YouTube. With me doing that, I, I've been hearing from people, you know, and I, I was kind of fidget about this, but I never really researched it or anything like that to see if it supported it. But I realized that you, with SLI setup, it's not going to work. You're going to have to disable SLI and you're going to have to, you know, play with one card. So have a 1970. If I'm streaming, kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, if I have to lower down the graphic settings by disabling, disabling the SLI setup. So, yeah, that, that sucks. Honestly, it does. It does really sucks. And I thought about it. I'm like, damn, yeah. I was thinking about it for a while. I'm like, is this, this uh, OBS problem? Because I use OBS, and I'm not sure about XSplit at all. I mean, shit. They probably should do something about that. I mean, you're paying fifteen dollars, you know, every three months or something like that, right? Every three months, fifteen bucks for XSplit. Uh, so I don't know, they might have that feature in there. It's not in OBS yet. Maybe it might come in OBS in the future. I'm not sure. Uh, that would be nice if they actually did that. Yeah, that would be a big downfall because I noticed in Grand Theft Auto and with Grand Theft Auto 5, playing Grand Theft Auto 5, I noticed that it's it just shit. It looks like shit. When you're using OBS, and I use OBS, I don't use the CPU because the CPU isn't, I don't think it's enough. It's definitely not enough for 60 frames a second at 1080p but it might be sufficient enough for 30 frames a second at 1080p. So I'm 60 frames a second today, man, it's 2015. I gotta do it, it's 2015, 60 frames a second. We gotta do this, right? Because YouTube supported, Twitch supported already, you know, and all that stuff, and everybody's really getting into it, and it's really nice, it's more fluid. So why, why, why should I play my games at 30 frames a second? Well, capture my gameplay and put it on at 30 frames a second, it doesn't make any sense. So with, with OBS, just using OBS alone, you turn it on, you click on preview or capture, it doesn't really matter which one you press, you just click on one of them and you can immediately see the GPU utilization goes up to about 10%. It takes up 10% of your GPU to work with OBS to capture the, because it's using the onboard H.264 encoder uh, that we see with Shadowplay. But the beautiful thing about Shadowplay is that Shadowplay actually uses 2% of the GPU. Way better! It is way better because it uses 2% of the graphics card compared to OBS using 10. But OBS does have more feature. You can go 1080p. I should do that. I should try that out. I should set it to 720p and see what we can do about that. See if that if it goes down. But and that's, that's kind of the, the downfall with when it comes to Shadowplay. Shadowplay doesn't really have support for 1080p. It does 60 frames a second. It caps you in at a certain bandwidth, which is five megabits per second, I think. And with OBS and YouTube, YouTube allows you to go up to like nine or eight megabits per second uh, for 60 frames a second, which will give you better quality. Twitch, I know lowered their latency. So it's like, if someone comments, you see the comment like 15 seconds later, but that, that's a pro, but the, the thing is, is that their recommended bit rate is 3,500. You could probably go over that and be fine, but there's no guarantee. I don't want to kind of take that. I don't want to really take that risk, you know, and I'm streaming and then all of a sudden the stream goes out or it starts stuttering and stuff like that, or, you know, down on the cable, pull in their shit again. So yes, I, I'm well aware of that. And I, I would definitely want to go with 980 Ti. And this is because, yes, I do have a 1080p panel. It might be overkill, but the thing about overkilling your system is that it will last longer in the future. Probably not for another Grand Theft Auto, because that comes out every five years. It would last longer in the future. You could do more with that. You, it'll work with more games, it'll work better. You can get more fidelity in the graphics, you can get better frame rates, or you want consistent 60 frames a second for the next two or three years or so up, up with upcoming titles. You can do that. It might be overkill, for now, but it lasts longer in the future. You might be missing out on newer technologies to come out the next year, but you know, it happens. Every year this new technology comes out and it's gonna replace the previous technology. It just it happens all the time. I'm well aware of the performance issues that can happen, occur, when you have an SLI setup. I'm aware of the power bill. Oh my God, it's expensive. I'm aware of the power bill because that is 22 cents 
Right now it's 20 cents, but I've seen it, it's gone as high as 22 cents. I've seen 22 cents per kilowatt. That is kind of high compared to me seeing other places being at around seven cents per kilowatt, maybe six, maybe even five cents per kilowatt. That's New York City for you. New York City just drains you, man. It's just, it's just take all your money. So uh, yeah, I'm well aware that they might not scale well, you know, in terms of scaling, no cars, both cars will not scale at 100%. Um, I'm, I'm aware of the performance issues that can occur and the frame timing and all that stuff. And I still want it. I would still love to have an SLI setup. And plus, yeah, you know, not all games support SLI and, you know, one car could be idling, doing nothing, and then you have the other card at 100% load. Uh, but I mainly play AAA titles. Mainly. Grand Theft Auto, uh, Call of Duty, uh, I'm not too sure about that anymore. I don't really play it that much. I've really been into Grand Theft Auto lately. I've been like, I have like 200 hours now into it. So I've been really playing, that's all I've been playing. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. And in, in Battlefield, what other games have I been playing, man? I think that's it. I think those are the only games I've been playing. I'm really into the really, I'm really into the, the AAA titles. And those titles will generally support SLI configuration. I've done it, I've done all the research. I've, I, I know, I, I'm very well aware. 980 Ti, you know, again, it'll, it, it might be overkill for now, but that's fine because it'll last long in the future. That's totally okay. Uh, and it has six gigabytes of RAM and that's really nice. So if you, if you build a system for today, you build something, you do your research in line, oh, this Battlefield 4 gets uh, 65 frames per second uh, with this graphics card, let's pick it up. What happens when Battlefield 5 comes out? It's gonna be much more graphically intensive and you might end up on ultra settings uh, or maybe if you high medium settings or whatever, uh, you might get in around 55, 45 frames a second. I can't, I'm just making this up. But it's uh, this is what's going to happen. The next, every iteration of the game will have more graphics. It'll be more graphically intensive. It'll require more from your graphics card. So having something that's really more powerful right now can actually be better for you, will actually be better for you in the long run. Depending on price to performance ratio. I think the, 9, the 780 Ti was a ripoff, personally. You know, I think these GPUs are a little bit too expensive. Um, but the 980 was actually a pretty good price and the 980 Ti I guess is not that bad when you look at the Titan X and, and AMD, okay we'll leave AMD for the next video. So I want to talk about them a little bit. Uh, so you know I kind of hope this answers your question. So uh, yeah I, 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 I think that, you know it's all good. So I'm, again just to go over everything I'm well aware of the performance issues. Some games might not support SLI but you know the games I play I, I'll do that but still I still want an SLI setup. Um, power consumption, all of that stuff I'm well aware of. Um, it, it's still generally better to get the highest end card. We're not talking about Titan, okay? Leave, don't think about Titan. Leave Titan out of this. Uh, get the highest end card you can, because uh, you know it's not gonna work properly sometimes, and you might have to disable SLI and have one card sitting down there like a paperweight. And that does suck, but for the games that you do play, I, I, I do play personally, um, which isn't a whole lot. It works fine for me. So, Battlefield, Grand Theft Auto, shh, that's it. <laughs> that's all I play right now. Damn it, my camera died. See, the whole the whole setup is kind of different now. The camera died. I know what I need to do. Get some water cooling. Custom loop for the camera. Oh yeah. Anyway, all jokes aside, uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, if you have any comments, questions, uh, go ahead and leave them below, and I will talk to you guys soon.